Welcome to BulkReefSupply.com. This is an instructional video for the two-part solution using bulk package materials for recipe one. We're going to cover how to mix the material, how to raise your levels, how to maintain these new levels, and lastly some tips on how to automate your system. First step is to locate three suitable jugs and clearly label them. To mix the calcium solution, we're going to fill the jug with three-fourths purified water like RODI or distilled water. Measure out two and a half cups of your crystalline calcium chloride. Use a standard kitchen measuring cup like this one. Use a funnel to pour the calcium chloride into your jug. Once all the calcium is in the jug, you're going to fill it with purified water almost to the top and then shake. After the solution has a chance to rest, it will be completely clear and have absolutely no sediment at the bottom. Mixing the alkalinity portion is just slightly different. Fill the one gallon jug three fourths with purified water and then pour into a bucket. Begin stirring the water. Once the water is moving, slowly pour in the two cups of soda ash or sodium carbonate. As long as you add it slowly, it should dissolve almost instantly. We mix it in an open top container like this because it's much easier to get the water moving. Once it's fully dissolved, go ahead and pour it into your container marked alkalinity. Go ahead and fill the jug almost all the way to the top. You'll notice a small amount of foam that is developed at the top from the bubbles rising. Shake the jug and make sure it's thoroughly mixed. Once the solution has had time to rest, it should be clear and with absolutely no sediment at the bottom. For the magnesium portion, we're going to use three cups of magnesium sulfate and five cups of magnesium chloride. Using a funnel, go ahead and add the material directly to the jug. When all the material is added to the jug, it will be basically half full of magnesium salts. Again, we'll fill the jug almost all the way to the top with purified water and shake. With the magnesium, we're trying to get a considerable amount of salt dissolved in water, so you may see some residual crystals at the bottom. Let the bottle rest and they should dissolve overnight. When fully dissolved, it will be crystal clear and have absolutely no sediment in the bottom. We have now made all three solutions. We generally recommend allowing them to rest overnight before use. The next step is to test all three items and see exactly where your aquarium is at. It's obviously critical to know exactly what your calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium levels are before you begin dosing. At Bulk Resupply, we recommend you maintain a calcium level of 420, an alkalinity of 9 dKH, and a magnesium level of 1350. To find out how much material you need to use to raise your levels, we're going to use the reef calculator. It can be found on our home page. It's a big orange clownfish. Go ahead and click on him. This page will tell you exactly how much you need to use. The first thing you'll need to enter is your total system water volume. This will be your tank plus your sump minus the rock work. A good guess is all you need. It doesn't need to be exact. For this, we're going to use 100 gallons. The first part is the calcium calculator. We're going to go ahead and say that we have 380 parts per million calcium. We'd like it to be 420. And then we'll choose recipe 1 calcium solution. It will immediately tell you exactly how much you need. In this case, it will be 409 milliliters to raise it exactly from 380 to 420. It also gives you fluid ounces as well as teaspoons. The left hand side will pop up some directions, like that you don't want to raise it more than 50 parts per million per day. Since we're only going from 3A to 420, we're well within that. The next portion is the alkalinity calculator. We'll go ahead and say our current level is 7, and we'd like to raise it to 9. Since we're measuring in DKH, we'll choose DKH from the drop down menu. On the product drop down, we'll choose recipe 1, alkalinity solution, soda ash. It will tell us that we need approximately 1.42 milliliters to raise our levels from 7 to 9. I will also give it in ounces as well as teaspoons. You'll notice some instructions on the side again. In this case, it will tell you not to raise the DKH more than 1.4 points per day. Because we are raising it to DKH from 7 to 9, you may want to split up your dose over the course of two days. It also notes that you should pay close attention to your pH to make sure you're not raising it too high during these additions. 
The next step is to use the magnesium calculator to raise the magnesium levels. We'll go ahead and say that your current magnesium level is 1100 and the desired magnesium level is 1350. And then from the drop down menu go ahead and choose gallon of magnesium solution. It's going to tell you a pretty big number. In this case it would be 2016 milliliters or 68 fluid ounces. Again there will be some instructions over on the left hand side most notably that we'd like to avoid raising it more than 100 parts per million per day. So go ahead and split this large dose up over the course of a few days. Once you've completed these steps we recommend that you wait about 15 minutes and go ahead and test all the parameters again and make sure the calculator worked as intended. Now that you have the levels where you want them we're going to need to maintain these new levels. We're going to do this by dosing small amounts of both calcium and alkalinity solutions on a daily basis. To find out how much to use go to the instructions tab on top of every page then choose two part instructions and recipe one instructions for bulk package materials. In here you'll find more detailed instructions on basically everything that we just went over and at the bottom there's a chart for determining what your beginning daily dose should be. The recommended starting point for a predominantly soft or LPS tank would be 0.2 to 0.3 milliliters per gallon. This means in a 100 gallon tank you would dose 20 to 30 milliliters of both calcium and alkalinity solutions every day. If you have a few hard corals or clams try 0.4 to 0.6 milliliters per gallon. If you have numerous full size SPS colonies try 1 milliliter per gallon. Please note that these are just recommended starting points and they will need to be adjusted. To do this go ahead and make a couple of days additions and then test. If you find the levels are dropping this means you need a larger daily dose. If you find that they're going up use slightly less. Most people are able to hone in on their tank's actual consumption in around three series of tests. When pouring in your daily dose make sure to pour it in very slowly and into a high flow area to the tank. This is particularly important with the alkalinity portion because it does raise the pH and we want to make the impact as subtle as possible. There are a couple products available that make your daily dosing more convenient. The first is the dispensing bottle. If your tank doesn't require large doses these bottles can be extremely convenient for measuring and adding your dose. There's a small chamber at the top that fills as you squeeze the bottle. We filled this one with a blue dye so you can easily see what's happening. Another convenient item for two part dosing is the Aqua Breed 200. It's actually designed for breeding brine shrimp. However, the suction cup cylinder is extremely convenient for pouring in your daily doses. You can control the flow rate with the small blue knob at the bottom of the cylinder. This is particularly nice for slowly adding the alkalinity portion and minimizing the immediate impact on the pH. Once you've been using two part for a while most people will end up automating their system with a pair of dosing pumps like these. These are precision pumps that will dose the exact same amount every day and maintain a stable environment for your aquarium. There are a few distinct advantages to using a system like this. The, the main one being raising and lowering your levels in the aquarium ends up a simple function of how many minutes your pump is on a day if your levels start dropping because of increased growth or addition of new corals simply add a few minutes to your timer. Maintaining proper levels in your aquarium becomes a simple function of how many minutes a timer is on. These pumps also dose as slow as 1.1 milliliters a minute which is just a few drops a minute and ensure that the changes to the tank chemistry are extremely slow and almost unnoticeable to the inhabitants. Automating your system like this also means you don't have to be there every day or be concerned about missing doses. You can also go on vacation without trying to explain to your house sitter how to properly maintain calcium and alkalinity. It becomes a real set it and forget it option. Thank you for watching this video. If you should have any other questions, please check the frequently asked questions area of our instructions or shoot us an email.